I know. Yes. Thank you. Um, hello, my lovelies. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, Castiel. <laughs> Castiel, hello. Say hello. Oh, yes. It is I want all day, apparently, here at Torrent Incorporated. Um, Danny hasn't been feeling well, so she has needed cuddle times, and then I get jealousy from Poppy. Um, hey, hello, everybody. Oh, she's so good. Oh, I know. Thank you. Um, so, any hoodles? Uh, this is kind of a response to... It's okay, baby. Oh, baby. Um, this is a kind of a response to my suggestions of what we would like to see in Vita. Uh, number one of which seems to be cooking vids. A um, couple of notes on why we haven't had cooking vids in a while. Uh, number one, my kitchen is really dark. Um, we did just put in French doors so it's a bit lighter. Where the table would be. <laughs> However, the counter and the stove is still just as cavernous and dark as ever. And I just, I don't have lots of lights to shine on it. Uh, that's something I really need to buy. Um, or, you know, the big lights with the um, umbrellas, you know, like real photography studio lights would be really good. But, you all know, no, desk lamp, bathroom lights. Yeah, I don't have, I used to have cans, can lights. Uh, but they've broken, and they got really hot. So <laughs> all I did was kind of sweat. Um, yeah, so that's the part of the number one reason why we haven't had any, because it's dark in my kitchen, and things don't show up, and it just, mm -mm, it's bad. We are trying to redo the kitchen, but it's in as we have money kind of thing. And since we just blew our wad on siding, and a set of French doors. And the very next thing we need is a fence so that Cass will stay in the yard. Um, and I can, you know, reopen the doggy door. Well, we have to actually get a new doggy door. Um, but yeah, so like our money allotment is not allotted towards me <laughs> at the moment or my kitchen. Um, the other thing is that all I do are other people's recipes and I don't, want to film that and then put it out as my recipe. I don't I don't like that. That's just like stealing hairstyles, stealing people's recipes. Um, now, if I start with a recipe and I change it up enough, you know, to my own tastes and what I like, um, or to make it cheaper or whatever, um, I have put those out there. Um, all, all of my recipes thus far have been either entirely my own creation or idea or like my Graham's recipes or my mom's recipes um, or a recipe that I started with one recipe and now it's this because this is how I make it now and it doesn't resemble the original recipe very much because then I feel like it's mine now. Um, it's my own. But me just, you know, pulling out a Paula Deen cookbook and making a meal go watch Paula Deen. Do you know what I mean? Um, or, you know, Alton Brown. I do a lot of Alton's recipes from Good Eats. Um, but, you know, just watch Alton. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I'm not comfortable uh, doing somebody else's stuff and acting like it's my own content kind of thing. I don't, I don't like that. So, um, I mean, if I change up any recipes, you know, I'll, I'll put a vid out but I've kind of been waiting until I had some sort of light in my kitchen ah, because it's terrible in there. Um, one of the other ones was people miss the gaming vids and I know we were going to start and you, I actually filmed the beginning of Skyrim. Um, but when I went to edit it, it just, it was not, I don't know. I'm, I'm not on my game. Let me, let me put it that way. Uh, it has been, too much construction around the house and too much me. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been uh, gaming a lot. So um, I just haven't had the time to like set aside certain day a week. Um, summer time is coming. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff that we're doing around the house right now. <laughs> we were kind of in a time crunch. So um, I still do plan on doing them. It's just 
I probably won't announce it until I have at least the first one in the can and ready to go. <laughs> to, right? Um, oh, it's so terrible. I mean, I I have I haven't played in a couple weeks, but I was playing pretty hardcore there for a while. I played through uh, original flavor Bioshock. You guys know I played Bioshock Infinite and loved it. And they were having a sale. It was four ninety nine, so I got original Bioshock and played it in almost one sitting. I finally stopped after way too many hours, and when I sat down to finish it up, I only had about you know forty minutes left. <laughs> I was almost done. <laughs> Didn't even know. So um, I did beat it. Um, I liked it a lot, um, and I saved all the little sisters. Thank you. Uh, it probably would have taken me less time if I hadn't gone that route, but I, of course, went that route. Mm -hmm. um, and I started up with Dragon Age again. I've, I'm pretty much, you know, obsessed with Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, I keep coming back to it. Um, I would played through a portion of Paul Fallout 3 again, um, and then my game just kept stopping, like freezing, and it just agitated me. That's when I put it down and um, picked up Dragon Age Inquisition again, because I had to take a break from that game because that was way too obsessive. It's just the way I am. Um, but I do I do plan on going through Skyrim again, seriously, um, and doing a choose your own adventure type thing, but I think I need to like plot it out at least the first bit. There was a lot. I mean, I just wanted to go through the very first section, and it just, I don't know. I have to figure out how I'm going to edit it correctly and make it more dynamic, something. I don't know. It was boring, you guys, and I didn't want it to be boring. Um, although I'm probably boring you right now, come to think of it. So um, what else? What else were suggestions? Oh, a tour of the house. <laughs> no. No. Uh-uh. Uh, right now, we're in the middle of construction, which means my house is a complete disaster area. There's drywall dust places, and I clean it up, but then more stuff gets done, and then it's just a mess again. And there are lots of things in rooms they shouldn't be in, but they have to be in right now because we need clear paths to knock out walls and, you know, things. Um, also, I'm not what you call a decorator. Uh, this is probably the most decorated room in the house, and I have guitars hanging on the walls and a pinball black or back glass from a from an old pinball machine captain fantastic um yeah I, I i do not have decorating skills let's put it that way um i hope to one day i have visions in my head of what it'll look like but that stuff takes money which i don't have <laughs> so i'm hoping that we will be able to at least get the bedroom done this summer because all that is mostly going to take, we do have to redo the floor, but mostly it's just going to be paint, which is not so bad, but my husband has to paint because I paint like a five-year-old. I'm really good at taping though, and I don't mind it. Like I'm excellent at taping nice sharp edges. Um, but as far as like roller work, it does, it looks like a five-year-old paint. It's terrible. I did this office. And if you see it in person, you can still see all the roller marks. And there's six coats of paint. And yes, I primed first. Red's just really hard. Um, but yeah. So maybe, maybe I was hoping to get the bedroom done last summer. What's that tell you? So yeah, we won't be getting a tour of the house. Mm -mm, no. Besides, it's not like there's, we have a living room, a kitchen, this room, the bathroom, which you've all been in my bedroom, and then the junk room, which is my spare bedroom, which is only cleaned up when people come to visit and it just stores everything because we have no other room. That's it. That's, the old, that's all the rooms in my house. There's, it's little. I'll tell you guys, it's a little house. It's a little house. Um, someone did ask about the front yard. I haven't got my flowers yet for this year. Um, I cleaned out the flower bed and all of my perennials, um, well, the ones that should be, like, my tulips are blooming. My bleeding heart is blooming. The lamb's ear is back. I dig that crap out every year, and it just comes back. Thanks, Mom. Um, my butterfly weed should should bloom. Um, but all my pots that I put all my annuals in, I haven't went and gotten any annuals because I can't afford to get any. So 
it's a little barren. But all my flamingos are still out there, my two giant painted frogs. Um, so they're all condensed into my flower bed. It looks like it did last spring for the most part. Um, Ticky tacky. We have to paint the house too, you guys. We just put up new siding, but it's only primes, so we could paint it. I'm trying to convince my husband to paint the house purple. Like not, you know, crayon purple, but one a shade of purple. Um, he wants blue. But there are no purple houses in my neighborhood. And in my quest to piss off the neighbors slightly, I think we should paint the house purple. Maybe if I can find the right color, I can convince him. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. I'd paint it pink. If it was up to me, I'd live in a pink house. And I don't care, but he won't live in a pink house. Sadly. So, um, let's see. I got asked about the yard. I got asked about cooking videos. Do, do, do. Oh, shoes. Yes, I am actually saving up the shoes for the very last Vita um, of this month. Uh, I actually had to repair quite a few. I'm still in the process of repairing some of my shoes. Some of my shoes are really old and all of the glue has given away. So I had to Gorilla Glue and use vices on some of it. To, like the, the, the heels and then the inside, they just kind of did this. So I am in the process of repairing a few pairs of my shoes just because they're old and nothing is worse then when I put a pair on and go out and then they fall apart as I'm wearing them. I now have a pair of um, TARDIS slippers that I keep in my car just in case my shoes die, which is kind of funny because I'll be dressed up and pretty and have been wearing heels and my shoes died and I have and I have blue TARDISes on my feet. But I figure, you know, anybody from that knows Doctor Who will just giggle and people that know it will just think I'm a crazy lady, so whatever. I am, so I don't care. But um, <laughs> I used to have little black ballet flats that I kept back there. But I wore them one day and Cassiel ate them. They were one of my most expensive pair of shoes, too, because they were real leather. <laughs> Instead of man-made material. Um, yeah. So now it's my TARDIS slippers that live in the trunk of my car so that I may have something in case my shoes fall apart. Although after I repair everything, that should not be a problem, an issue anymore. But we are gonna do a big shoe Vita um, for two reasons. Number one, all of my shoes needed repaired and cleaned, etc. And I really need to go through my shoes and toss some of them um, because they've either been chewed on by puppies, Daenerys, Castiel, um, Murphy never chewed shoes. Um, or they're just really old. Like I don't throw shoes away. I wear them till they die and apparently till they fall apart on my feet and then I just fix them. <laughs> so, well, cause I don't care what's in style and if I like it, I like it. And then you can't get it or style like it anymore. Like I still have all my chunky heels from the nineties. You guys, they're glorious. Um, so yeah. And now they're back in style. See, keep that stuff. Um, but yeah, I uh, we, we are going to do a shoe log. I thought maybe we'll, I was going to go through and do my jewelry, but I have a feeling I'm kind of easy to find and I don't want anybody, you know, breaking into my house and stealing my stuff. Even though the majority of my jewelry is junk jewelry, not expensive jewelry. I do have some that is, so I'd rather them not. Just a couple pieces. So, um, yeah, so I'm not, you just get to see the jewelry I wear. <laughs> so, yeah, so that, that didn't work. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the Vitas. Those, um, yeah. And then I got some for more hairstyles. Yes, I, I am doing hairstyles um, because I have a hairstyle channel, but they are separate from the Vitas because some people don't watch the vlogs at all. Um, and some people only want hair. And I monetize the hair tutorials where I don't monetize the vlogs usually unless they're very hair talk heavy. So 
I would rather keep those separate. You know, I thought about it. It's not like I just, yeah, I thought about it. So that's why we're still getting, still trying to do a hairstyle a week. Um, we will have a Cersei Lannister hairstyle on Wednesday. And then, oh yeah, the one I have on my head that I was hoping maybe we do it this weekend, but I'm still not. There's this really cool technique. Uh, I think the video was Turkish. I'm not positive, but I think that's what somebody had commented on that it was in Turkish. I don't, I don't know if I'm wrong, please don't hate me for it. I just, I'm, you know, brain fog. So, uh, but basically it was just, here's a ponytail, put a hair stick in it. Now we're going to braid, um, sort of like French braid the ponytail with the hair stick. It, it was interesting. Um, the, the girl in question who was sitting, it was somebody braiding somebody else's hair. Um, she was probably around BSL. So after they were done, they just tucked the tip up underneath and it was really cool. I have a lot more hair. What do we do with it? Uh, I've tried a few things and the thing is when I find something like this, that is a technique that I can work into another hairstyle. That's what I try to do. We can make, I can make it look pretty much like the original, but I would really like to do something more with it. Um, because I can show you how to do it on yourself, which will take care of that portion, but then to sort of make it my own, I kind of want to mess with it. So this was yet another attempt for me to nay. I, I'm sort of leaning towards making it like a nice, pretty updo, um, which of course requires pinning down the loops and stuff. It's not quite there yet. I mean, you can see it's, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not, it's not quite exactly what I want yet. So, um, yeah, that's today's hair is, is that it ends up looking like a loaf of hollow bread when it's just hanging. It does. Um, but this is kind of it when it's pinned. I'm, I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure what we're doing with it. That's why I haven't done the tutorial on it yet because I'm working out the kinks. I do that a lot. Um, as far as accessories today, I got these from my friend Brandy. They're little wooden parrots. Just little wooden painted parrots. I like them. <laughs> I don't know. But since we kind of had a bird theme, parrots in my ears, this is a little bird nesty. Um, I have a necklace that uh, Jamie Burnett from Dark Angels Accessories made. It is a bird nest with three robin eggs. Um, this is another one of the first things I bought off of Etsy. I just liked it. I bought it for my mom. But you see, she doesn't have it. Because when I got it, it was even prettier than it looked online. So I kept it for myself. I'm a terrible person. I did show her though. I was like, look, mom, I bought this for you, but you didn't get it. She goes, yeah, I see that. But uh, she goes, that's okay. I think it's more you than me anyway, which is true. Um, I don't know why it reminded me of my mom. It just did. But now I wear it and I think of my mom. So that's almost as good. <laughs> don't worry. I, mom, mom got a Betsy Johnson purse um, and a Tommy Hilfiger purse from Burlington, a couple seasons old, who cares? Um, so she was quite happy. My mom loves purses. Uh, more so, well, no, I can't say more so than jewelry. She's got a lot of jewelry. I mean, I come by this naturally, this obsession with stuff, this accessories. That's, that's my mom up and down, left and right. She is, loves accessories. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Oh, some folks asked about uh, videos of the band. You know, I do have videos of the band on the channel, right? They're there. Um, we're not going to be performing again till in May. So, and most of you don't really care for the videos from like my living room because I'm not in them. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen on the drums. We can't all fit in one room of my house. So, uh, I do have some live stuff, though, from is it last summer? Maybe the summer before. I don't think I recorded anything last summer. I think it was the summer before. 
Um, I had some decent where you can see almost the whole band except for my bass player who's hiding behind one of the speakers. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, any hoodles. Um, I can't think of anything else and it's 20 minutes, so whatever. Alrighty. Uh, I guess that's all for today. Oh, um, my lips might look weird. I'm trying some of those tricks to, to kind of change the shape. My lips are wonkous. One side's thicker than the other side. When I smile, one side goes Elvis, you know, with the snarl, like, like Billy Idol. So I mess around with my lips a lot, trying to make them look as pretty as they can. Um, and I don't really go for Angelina Jolie because I don't have those lips. I was not born with those lips and those lips aren't happening unless I got one of them lip sucker things to give me big lips like a blowfish. Um, but my favorite pair of lips are Jean Triplehorn's lips because she has that really thick top lip like a baby, <laughs> which I tried to do today by pretty much getting rid of my Cupid's bow and just going straight over it. If I do that, no, it doesn't matter. I still don't have it. But I was trying. I think I need to work on shading and get a good lip liner or some such. But uh, that is something I want to kind of try to do in the future because I really want Jean Triplehorn's lips. And I think if I can get good enough at applying this lip stuff that I can fake it because that's what I want. I like hers. They're my favorites. I mean, Angelina's are pretty and all, but nobody's lips are as pretty as Jean Triplehorn's. <laughs> Some of you are going to have to go and Google her. <laughs> I know. And that's okay, because she's a beautiful lady. Um, so, any hoodles, yeah, I'm going to shut up now. And uh, I don't know what tomorrow's Tuesday. I don't, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. I know that Wednesday we will have a hair video and then something else. But, um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow. I shall see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah. Uh, as, well, as far as for the, the future of cooking videos, I did have an idea. Um, I do try out a lot of Pinterest recipes. Uh, some of them work really well. Some of them are not so hot. And some of them I've had to doctor um, a little bit. So maybe maybe we can do that as, as a feature, like maybe like bi-monthly. Uh, try out Pinterest recipes and then, you know, we'll ask the old man how they taste. <laughs> um, so that that might be one way we can we can cook. Um, where I don't feel like I'll be ripping anything off because I'll be like, so this is the pin, this is where it came from, and we're going to try it. That, that sounds like I could live with that and not feel weird about it. So um, may, maybe that. Um, any hoodles, let me go and shut up, um, or we'll just sit here all day. Honk, honk, school bus. Okay, um, so I will see you tomorrow with something. I don't know what. Okay, until then, have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.